Hi there, this is Mr. Reem. I'm giving you a quick tutorial about registering for your Sierra College classes. There's a couple different steps that you need to be aware of when you're ready to register for your Sierra College classes. Depending on what semester you're taking your classes will depend on where you need to go a little bit. But generally, the approach is the same. First, head to the Sierra College website, which is located at sierracollege.edu. On this site that you'll see on your screen, and you can see my mouse moving around, on the left-hand side in this green box, you'll see the application for the summer and fall 2016 terms. Uh, if you're applying for a different term, this will be updated as the years go by. So please just look over there and you'll be able to access the application. Clicking on this box will take you to a different website and it's called the CCC application, which is the California Community College application. So that's a general application. After you complete that, you'll then move into this year college application following. So that's okay, so just follow that uh, the information on those screens and you'll be um, set. In about one to three business days, you should get a follow-up email from Sierra College saying that you've been accepted. Uh, you're not gonna get denied, but you'll be accepted and you'll have access to your account. Once you do that, you'll get your My Sierra. Before we go into that My Sierra, I wanna show you a few other things that you can look up while you're on the Sierra College homepage. First up here is this class schedule. When you click on this class schedule, this is useful if you're looking at when classes are offered as well as identifying the CRN or course request number. By going to that link, it'll open up this new window. Click the term that you're interested in taking classes at. Select uh, the Tahoe Truckee campus, and that'll open up this window. You can search by subject. You can also search by teacher or time. Um, I usually select this as well. If you hit search, it's gonna show you all available classes in the Tahoe Truckee campus that are on their uh, individual campus up in Truckee. The dates you'll see here, the times, the class names, and then this is the CRN number and we'll use this at the very end of the process when we're registering for the class. You can also click on this and it'll open up a brief description of the course. That's helpful if you're considering different courses. So that's the course uh, schedule. The other thing is this My Sierra account. That's gonna be what we're gonna jump into next. The last thing is, um, this is a system outside of North Tile High School, so you're gonna need to possibly c contact uh, the people at Sierra College for help. The best way is go to that admissions button at the top and scroll all the way down and you'll see the different contact information for the different campuses. Select Tahoe Truckee and then you'll see the contact phone number as well as an email and a fax number in case you need to fax anything over. That's the best resource for support um, apart from this video because they have access to change things in your account to look things up to see maybe where you're messing up in the process. Once you go back, you can click on that My Sierra account and you'll get into this My Sierra. I've created a dummy account, so I'll be able to show you a few things, but not everything. When you're here, registration, you'll see this window at the top. Um, you'll be able to click this class schedule. That's the same class schedule you can access from the homepage. This is the button here where you'll be able to add or drop or withdraw from any classes. Registration status is down here where you'll pay for classes depending if you owe any funds. And then checking your holds. Checking your holds is the first place because there are four or five different steps that you need to complete, including the academic enrichment form, any possible placement tests, um, and like things like orientation um, and the application. So if you need to get on here, please go to the holds button and that will show you in this window, for example, that my I have two administrative holds. I have not done orientation and I have done not done counseling. All right, counseling will likely be your academic enrichment form. Um, or it might actually say academic enrichment form when you try to log on here. So please, if you are having trouble registering for your class, check that holds button because that will tell you exactly what you might be missing. Once all those holds are cleared, you can go in here and check your registration status for say fall 2016. And it's gonna ask you a series of questions. Go through there and it'll say, yes, you may register and this is your registration time. So just go ahead and complete that so you can tell when exactly you are able to register for the course that you're trying to add. Lastly, once everything's done, click on the add term. You'll be able to hit submit. I doubt that I will be able to go through because I have those holds, but it'll tell you exactly what time you have uh, to begin starting to register for your classes. Once you get past this page, I won't be able to show you, but I'm gonna try to explain it. Once you get past this page, after April 26th at 3 p.m., there will be several boxes down here and it'll say CRN. That course request number is that same course request number here. They're usually five digits, and that's gonna be the class, that's how, me how you register for your class. If I was gonna sign up for graphic computer illustration, I'd go to that page after all my holds are cleared and enter that five digit code. 
there'll be five or six different CRN boxes. You don't need to enter it five or six times. Just enter it once if you're only taking one class. You'll hit next. Um, it will likely confirm and then it will ask you to pay if you need to pay. Most classes, except for summer terms, are going to ask for $1 per unit. So you'll need a credit or debit card to be able to do that. And then you'll be responsible for any type of lab fees, books, transportation, or anything else that comes along with it. So please just check that out. After that, you should be able to go into uh, down here, my class schedule, and look at the schedule of classes once you're actually enrolled. Please do ensure that you've enrolled in the class. Um, we've had in the past where students have gone through all four of the steps and did not actually do the enrollment step. And that creates problems. They went through about five weeks of class. The professor finally figured out who they, you know, who they were and wondered, why are you not on my roll? We figured it out, but just try to avoid that problem because it does create major issues. So if there's any other questions, uh, feel free to ask. I may direct you to Sierra College for more support, but that is the general process for enrolling in a, in a Sierra College class. Hopefully that's helpful. And again, Go Lakers.